everybody, hello or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruth Benham. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Uh, today is 420, so a happy 420 to all my stoners. If you are not a stoner, still happy 420. Um, I can't believe it's almost at the end of April and I'm kind of pretty excited that April is almost over with. This wasn't like the best month. But hopefully May will be a way, way better month. Um, it's going to be summer soon and I'm like really, really excited. And um, for those who wanted a mystery box, it looks like uh, there are some actually still left of not the big boys, but the yellow ones. So if you guys are like still wanting to get a box, there's still a chance to do so. I might I'm maybe getting another um, box just to see if I would get a different variation, but I'm still debating on it kind of like iffy but yeah in today's video we are going to do like a cute little sunset look that is very beginner friendly a lot of people really like this eyeshadow so I thought I'll just go ahead and do a tutorial on it just a way to show you how I do it so then you can go ahead and get you know doing it yourself if you really want to so yeah let's get right into it so get the eyebrows done eyelids primed so, um, for this look, I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette. And the shades I'm going to be using for this look, it's going to be Flaming Hot Cheeto. Flaming Hot, not Flaming Hot, but it was supposed to be for fla because of Flaming Hot Cheetos. Uh, Flaming Hot Cheese Dust and Food Videos. So those are the three... This one, then these two photo uh, colors. We're gonna, why did I say photos? Colors we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna grab a brush, just a small one, because I'm gonna start with the yellow. So we don't want to get too much of a big of a brush. Now um, you can use any palettes. It can be from multiple palettes or one with all these colors, but. I sometimes use the Cara Beauty palette, but I really like these ones because from the Shane Dawson and Jeffrey palette because I don't have to keep on packing in and all that. So whatever uh, palette's going to work best for you, that's fine. So we're going to lay down the yellow. And you can also do these in like neon shades too, so doesn't have to be like neutral, it can be pastel. But we're just gonna get the beginning done. I was debating if I wanted to paint my nails, but since I had to go get my car oil change, I was like debating if I want to get some fake nails. Still haven't decided yet because I don't want to like paint my nails and then end up getting a new set and then having like the nail lady like having to take them off, like the nail polish off. Like I don't want to make it more work on the lady that's going to do my nails if I end up doing it. Then we're going to go ahead and dip into the uh, orange, smack it right in the middle. Right. And then I like to do like a little U, a right? little swing motion, and just start. layering and debating on how dark you want it. Just keep adding and blending either with the pat or just like the sweep motion. And all depending on like like I said um it's all on your like preference on like how high you want to go. If you want to go low or high, it's all up to you. Um, what I do, like whatever level I do, you don't have to do. You can either do lower or higher or however else you'd like. 
And if you want to do like this part like a different color, you sure can. Like, because in a way, it's kind of like a sunset, like in a sunset kind of a theme. So like a lot of the time, sunsets, you know, mostly are yellow, orange, and red. You can also add in like a blue or a purple to like mix it up. But this is more like, you know, just for people that are like wanting to like try to get it down and stuff. Or, you know, you just don't have the time to, like, really add, like, too much. And then... Maybe I should call this, like, like, the Northwest Sunset because... Our sunsets are like really, really pretty. And it's more of like in Montana, it's, I don't know, it's weird because there is some like purples and like pinks, but that's like more in the summer. Like usually whenever I see the sunset, it's, you know, orange, red with like the sky still in the color scheme of it all. I'm going to get a clean brush and just blend these colors together. And make sure they're like even. So I just find it easier when you do section, section, section by section, just so like you're not like all over the place. And that way, like, you know, you won't have to go back and like fix anything. You can just get it over and done with. I'm gonna make this go over. So what you can do um, that might help you with like blending and stuff is, um, you know, take a clean small little brush, you know, kind of blend it together and then dab uh, yellow on one side and orange on the other side and kind of just like sweep back and forth the colors. And that really helps like the color too. Like I know you can't really, like, my camera doesn't pick it up that well, but um, when you do it in person, you'll notice what I'm talking about. If you want a round end or like, you know, a cut like I like, because I'm going to add in a black uh, eyeshadowing. Someone did uh, give me a tip to put like the tape on your skin. So like when you pull it off later, it's not going to be like that harsh on your skin. So let me put this down. And where I want it, because if you're going to do it, you can either do it more up sideways however uh however you would like it it all depends on you and then just make sure that they're kind of even so when all of it's done it won't look too weird and uneven so i'm gonna grab kind of like the same brush we used for the orange, just a eye crease brush from e.l.f. Like these brushes are really cheap and they actually work really good. We're going to pick up some red. Start working on the outer. And usually when I do the red, I don't like going in too hot, like bold, too like fast. I like to work my way up with the red. And I really like this red that's in this palette. It's like so cute. The only thing that sucks um, is that sometimes it does like stain my skin. So like I have to like scrub it to like get it off or 
I'll just be rocking with like some like red tint eyelids for like a day or two and then it'll like be gone. And then just start sweeping a little bit into the orange. A little bit more. Grab it. The or ah! Oh! There's some cheetah dust. And then just slip it back and forth. And I think I'm just going to leave that for now. And if I want to do any touches after I add, you know, just a black eyeshadow liner then I will but for now I'll just leave it like that and then work on the other side make sure that I get it evenly So I've been thinking about doing like another like true crime video, but I don't know exactly like who like I'd want to do it on. First from like American Horror Story, like uh, Lobster Man, Crab Man, that guy, he ended up being a murderer. Um, maybe looking into like, you know, those type of like characters that they're playing. I don't really want to do like... Cause I know the hotel one that was mostly like on the sea cell hotel and I really don't want to like do on this on that because since the whole like Netflix series came like the Netflix show came out on um you know the murder the recent murder not recent but like the last murder like thing happened like it was everywhere on Netflix and I really don't want to like butcher it too much I I think the only real next, like, Netflix documentaries I really want to do is, like, the Jeffrey Dahmer one because that one looks like it would be really, really good. Or, like, I can find, like, people that, like, are on death row. You know, maybe find, you know, stories that aren't, like, like, they're out there, but they didn't, like, really become, like, really, like, too popular kind of... Like, you know, Richard Ramirez and all that. Um, or, you know, maybe, you know, any cults that are, like, interesting to look into. Or, you know, I like to hear opinions. Because I want to, like, I don't want to do just what I want to do. I want to know, like, what you guys would be interested of, like, listening to. So then I can do, like, maybe, like, you know, like, just, like, a mix of both. Keep it interesting. All right, so I think, just make sure I got it all evened out. All right. I'm pretty sure I'm just making sure I'm just looking in the mirror. I'll just see. Just bring this maybe over a little bit. Very nice. It's definitely very cute. Like, uh, I'm still on the hunt. I'm still looking for, like, a camera. I haven't forgotten about it. I am still looking into that. And I'm hoping it won't be, like, too, too long. But if stores aren't going to have cameras, like... And I really don't want to order one. I'm, I don't know. I'm still debating because, like, what if it gets, like, damaged and, like, the shipping and all that? That means I have to, like, wait even longer. I don't know. We'll see. So, depending if you want to add liner, if you don't want to add liner, you don't have to. But, um, 
if you want add like a wing you can either do like the eyeliner like a pencil eyeliner a cream or a shadow I just like a shadow so when it's gonna be taken off at the end of the day it's just like really fast and easy to get it off start on the tape and then bring it I have some uh, other cute ideas for like eyeshadow I want to try. I want to try to do like a sherbet look with all mostly like shimmer shades. I got some ideas on how I want to do that, but I got to see if I have the shades because if not, then when I get my car, you know, oil change, I'll have to go to Ulta to see if I can find like some decent shades. I'm not worried about like a pink shade because I do have the Juvia's. Why did I just dip that in my red? I already have like a uh, a pink shimmer, but I don't know if I have. I'm pretty sure I have an orange and a yellow, but I'm not 100% sure, so I gotta look. And then another look I was thinking about is maybe doing like the e girl look. Um, I know that's really weird hearing that, uh, hearing that from, like, a 27-year-old. But, like, I thought it was, like, really stupid. The e-girl look, and then I started, like, seeing it more, and I just got, like, t a TikTok. Because I finally caved in, because everyone's like, oh, you should watch this TikTok video. And I'm like, I don't got TikTok. And then I finally, like, downloaded it. And I started following, like, a couple girls that do, like, the whole, like, e-girl look like makeup tutorials and stuff and like all these like different things and I was like you know what it's actually not that bad I was like it's kind of cute like my inner like because I used to like be like dressed up like one of those like emo scene kids back in the day like when I was like 14 13 I was like it's actually kind of cute like cute yeah I was like I could have done this when I was younger but I don't know it's kind of cute like definitely like if you want to just do something different or, you know, just something to do photos with. I think it would just be fun to, like, try and experiment it, experiment with it. I even, like, uh, when we went shopping, like, the other week for, like, food, we stopped by the mall because we had to go to GameStop to get an, uh, my remote turned in for a new one. And I stopped by Spencer's and I got even, like, a little choker for it, the look I want to do like turns out good maybe I'll do like different variations varieties of like e-girl look especially with like the blush look so then we're gonna go on the other side sure it's the same And I know I was also asked to do um, some summer and spring looks, which I'm definitely looking into, like, some fun ideas. I really want to get into, like, the whole, like, crease cutting looks. But I'm going to try to, like, master it a little bit more so I can do, like, fun, like, cream looks and all that. So I think So I think that's good. All right, so let's go ahead just take a quick just you know um uh, before we pull off the tape just make sure you know, you just look at everything to make sure if you want to fix anything. I think I'm good. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the tape. 
All right. So what I'm going to do is um, go do my full face. Um, I did end up getting, I think it's the Kat Von D. Yeah, it's the Kat Von D brand. The Locket Foundation. I opened it to like test my hand to see if it actually would, you know, kind of suit my, like if it would actually match. And it kind of does, kind of not. Um, I saw this because I went to Ulta. Also, when we went to other places to go get groceries. I really wanted to try the Apple Bomb foundation, but they were like completely out. Like every shade you can think like they have on the line was like completely sold out. So I was like kind of like eh, debating if I want to try this, but I was like, remember that Kevon D doesn't like own it anymore. Like someone else like took over and I didn't really like the formula quality when it was under her. But I was like, you know, since the Apple is like, all hyped up maybe I'll give this a try and see how that works so I think I'm actually gonna try it out um I got in the shade 47 light neutral so I'm gonna try it out I'm all right so I got the foundation on the rest of my face the eyebrows the lashes I ended up going down um under with the yellow orange and red on the bottom just like a little bit not too much and then I just put a little bit lip liner on and then the gloss and the blood money. Um, it's the peach price tag. This is probably like one of my favorite glosses. Like it's very beautiful pink and like more like a, more like a peachy pink with like really fun, like green glitter. I also put the, um, new highlighter I got. But yeah, this is the finished look. Um, definitely a really fun, cute, easy way for like a really fun sunset. Like it reminds me of the Lion King sunset. You know, like the yellow, orange, red. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, please leave a comment if you want to see something specific or like to see something. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.